So let's go ahead and look at the fundamental counting rule, but first a lead in. In section 4.1, we discussed using trees to find sample spaces. Then in section 4.4, we learned the multiplication rule with independence for finding probability. And these two things were related to each other as I'm gonna remind you of in a, sec in a second. So for example, there are four ways to flip a single coin twice. And then based on that, we can find that the probability of both of those coins being tails is one fourth. So if you remember in terms of a tree, we start with the first coin and toss it and we're gonna get heads or tails. Then we toss the second coin and we're gonna get heads or tails, whether the first coin came out heads or whether the first coin came out tails. So to finish the tree, we have to walk down the lines of the trees to see that heads, heads was an option, heads, tails was an option, tails, heads, or tails, tails. So these were the four outcomes that were possible when you flip a single coin twice. So if we wanted the probability of both being tails, you can kind of figure it out from there. But in terms of probability, we looked at the multiplication rule. And this is where we looked at the probability of the first toss. So the probability of tails and there's two sides to a coin, and since one of those two sides is tails, we have a one-half probability of getting tails. The multiplication rule says if you're going to toss it again, then you multiply the probability of the second toss. So the probability of getting tails, which still is one-half, but now we have the probability of tails and then, so multiply tails, which is one-fourth. The probability of tails and tails. And so as you can see, you know, it was one of the four outcomes. So if we know the number of ways something happens, then we can find probability. Or if we know an individual probability, we can use that multiplication rule to find a more advanced probability. But what we're going to find with counting techniques is some trees are much too complicated to create. Some multiplications aren't necessarily known right away. But if we have counting techniques, where we know that the total number of outcomes is four, then we can work on figuring out how many ways our outcome happens and get probability that way.